Saturday marks 10 years since Trayvon Martin was killed while walking to his dad's home in Sanford. Trayvon, Michael Brown, George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Dante Wright. Their stories have similarities and share another common thread. Attorney Ben Crump. He represented each of their families through their agony and activism. Tonight, Attorney Crump reflects on how the young teen's legacy can be felt in the outcomes of more recent cases. I think in recent months, with the conviction of Derek Chauvin uh, for killing George Floyd by putting his knee on his neck for nine minutes and 29 seconds, we know that Trayvon's legacy looms large over that trial because Trayvon raised the consciousness level in America. Any moment that stands out to you when you felt this young man, this young boy's life is going to leave an indelible impact on our society? There were certain moments that you knew that it was historic what was happening as we uh, fought for justice with Trayvon. I think when LeBron James and the Miami Heat all put on the hoodies and tweeted out the picture saying we are all Trayvon and it got retweeted about four million times and certainly we knew and certainly I knew that it was historic when President Barack Obama went into the Rose Garden and said, you know, if I had a son, he'd look like Trayvon. So you've got Michael Brown, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Dante Wright, all these names that became household names throughout the country because of the unfortunate circumstances in which they were killed. But now your name, in a way, is also tied to theirs forever. What does that mean to you that you were able to come forward at a time when these families needed someone like you to make sure that their loved one got justice or that their story was heard? Uh, my personal hero is uh, Thurgood Marshall, who so often said that he didn't take cases that would only impact the individual or their families. He took cases that would have the most impact on the greater society. And so when we think about my representation of Michael Brown at the Trayvon, of Tamir Rice, of um, Breonna Taylor, of George Floyd, of Ahmaud Aubrey, these were cases that had a great impact on the larger American society. And so I understand that if I'm to achieve my mission in life, and that is to give our children, all of our children, a equal opportunity at life and liberty in the pursuit of happiness, then I have to do so in a profound way by making sure that all of these cases are not swept under the rug. We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. Mr. So Crump, we, knowing the outcome of some of the more recent cases, do you think if George Zimmerman were to be tried today for the crimes that he was accused of in 2012, that there would be a different outcome? Well, I think with the advent of technology and um, video surveillance everywhere, I believe we would have seen what happened on that fateful night on February 26, 2012, because I believe video is a game changer. I believe the outcome of the criminal prosecution of Trayvon's killer would have been different.